All right, so thanks for tuning in. This is how to install a Grant uh, classic steering wheel on your Jeep YJ. Now, there's a couple tutorials on YouTube, um, but they don't necessarily cover all the steps. So I realized, uh, I apologize for this already being kind of taken apart. I'll go through all the steps if I can. Um, but I realized kind of getting halfway through, I was like, maybe I should film this. It might help some people. Okay, so before you get started, make sure you disconnect your battery because you don't want to be working on your horn and having it go off all the time. So just disconnect that um, so that uh, the circuit doesn't connect. Uh, the first thing you're going to do, of course, is take the OEM steering wheel off. So the first thing you're going to do is just pull off uh, the horn button. So this whole panel basically just comes off. You can just get your fingers behind and pop it right off. So it's just held in with some um, plastic clips here, just these little plastic retention clips. So be careful not to break them, but they basically they just hold on to this uh, metal horn contact ring right here. Okay. So after you've popped that off, um, you're going to need to take this off so that you can access uh, the, the nut that holds the actual steering wheel on. So you're going to have to undo these three Phillips uh, bolts. Okay. And they kind of hold this, uh, the horn contact retention ring on. Okay. So just take those off and then now you're going to be able to access the steering wheel itself. So it's normally going to be bolted in place with this big uh, retention nut there. And uh, so what I did was I used, it's a 13 16 socket that you're going to need. And I took that off. Um, now you might find that it's fairly seized on there pretty good. So I had to use a steering wheel puller. So um, if you think that it's loose enough that there's enough play, what you can do is loosen this nut and leave it on, don't completely unthread it, and then try to rock the steering wheel back and forth like this and see if you can get it loose enough to shimmy it out and pop it straight out. If you can't do that, you're gonna to need to use a steering wheel puller. So here's a steering wheel puller that I borrowed. Um, you can buy these, you can rent them from auto parts stores, you know, ask a few friends, see if they've got one. But basically what it does is you wanna have, at least for this particular uh, Jeep YJ application, you'll see there's two threaded uh, holes here in the hub of the steering wheel. So you need to go through your um, steering wheel puller kit and find the appropriate bolts that will thread into there properly, okay? So um, I'm going to take this one and thread it into that hole. Take this one, thread it into this hole. And you want to make sure you can get at least a few uh, turns in, you know, maybe like uh, five or six turns in, right? And then what you do is you're going to get a ratchet or a wrench and get it on the end here. And in this particular case, I think it was a 13, no, maybe like a 15 millimeter. Um, and basically what you do is you turn this threaded bolt. And what it does is it pushes down on the puller, which pulls up this plate and which turn it, 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 it keeps the, um, the steering wheel in place, but it pushes basically the spline um, shaft that the steering wheel is mounted to, and it'll basically eventually pull the whole steering wheel off, okay? So that's what I did, and then that's what got the steering wheel off. So once you've got the steering wheel off, you'll also need to remove this plastic uh, cover. Something that you're gonna wanna do before you um, install your new steering wheel is just clean off the splines um, on the steering shaft here. Uh, use like a metal wire brush uh, just to get any kind of rust or residue that's built up there. Clean it off and then put on some um, anti-seize okay so that'll make it a lot easier for you know if you ever need to uh, even right now when you when you're putting on the new steering uh, wheel adapter it'll make it a lot easier to install if it's just got some anti-seize compound on it all right so when you've taken everything off this is what you're left with and what you need to address is this um, aluminum push rod that is basically creates the ground. Um, it, it creates a ground connection to the bottom of the contact plate of the OEM horn assembly, okay? So what you need to do, this is not described anywhere in any of the uh, Grant steering wheel instructions. You need to pull that little aluminum pin out. Now be careful when you do it because when you pull it out, there's a black plastic retention ring which you need to reuse and then there's a spring inside that you don't need to use. That spring is connected to this aluminum rod which creates that connection. Um, and without adapting it, it's not going to work unless you adapt it to the uh, Grant style of wiring. Okay, so what you're going to do is take a pair of pliers and you're going to gently just pull out 
Okay, just do it gently and just keep your finger over it because that spring might fly out. But you see how there's a spring inside? Okay, so there's a contact deep inside there and that's obviously a metal spring connected to the aluminum which creates the contact, okay? So, you're gonna want to keep that little black plastic re retainer right there, okay? You're going to take the Grant wire which has a brass fitting on the end. You're going to take the spring that they give you. you see that there? Okay, you're going to put it over the end like that. Okay, and then that is going to go inside that plastic tube. Okay, now this, this brass part won't go all the way in, but it will go in enough um, basically to be held in place by this little black plastic ring. So don't lose that because I don't think you can find that anywhere else. So just slide it over the wire and then you're going to push it. Try to get my fingers out of the way here. You're going to push it in and there's a little ridge inside of this blue tube or white tube, whatever color your steering thing is. Um, and then there's a little uh, notch that sticks out here. So once you press it in, it will hopefully stay put. I'm just going to use a little um, pick here just to make sure that my finger might be a little too big to fit on that. But there you go. Okay, there. I just felt it click into place. Okay. Okay, so once you have the horn wire inserted in with the um, spring inside, the brass end of the wire threaded through it, and then that plastic black retention uh, sort of spacer holding it into place, you can now um, install the steering wheel adapter. So um, it needs to go through the horn hole, or sorry, the horn wire uh, hole right there. And that's kind of like in the 10 o'clock position on the steering wheel hub adapter. Um, and then when you install the um, adapter on, you can see it fits, it just fits right over like that in the 10 o'clock position, okay? Um, the, the holes don't, kind of pay no attention to the triangular holes. You gotta look for this sign here where it says top. That top where it's written on, on the adapter, that's basically where the top of the steering wheel is gonna sit. Um, next thing you need to do is route this wire. It needs to go in this little valley here, okay? And then now, the wire will sort of come out the two o'clock position because um, you're gonna need to thread this through the uh, cover next, okay? So you can see the cover here. Um, you can see this oval hole. So that's where the wire is gonna go through. All right, and now if you look at it, um, you can see where if you turn this plate, you'll see the three holes line up for the, for the bolts and the wire comes through for the horn contact, okay? So now that the uh, cover, uh, the, the post cover is in place, you can place your steering wheel on top, all right? You gotta make sure that the wire goes through the um, sort of, if I'm holding that up to the camera, right? There's, if this is the top of the steering wheel, there's a hole at the two o'clock position. That's where you want your wire to go through, okay? So put your wire through that and then the steering wheel is going to sit over the, the hub. Um, now you're going to need to make sure you got that uh, big nut that goes over the uh, steering shaft here. So just before you kind of screw everything back down tight, um, you're also going to need to um, ensure that the, the, this uh, horn contact plate, this is the one that's provided by Grant, uh, that you've got that one in the right place. So what you want to do is attach the wire. You actually want to feed it through like this. Feed the wire through the center and then you're going to want to attach this wire to the little tab connector there, right? So you can see right here I'm just going to slide a piece of heat shrink tubing over the uh, connector, all right? Then I'm going to connect up that horn horn wire right there and then I'm just going to slide the heat shrink tubing over the uh, over that connection and then I'm going to use a just a little butane torch to shrink the tubing down so that uh, that connection is protected.
Okay, what you're going to do next is take the three uh, bolts that they include in the kit. And if you look carefully, these are shoulder bolts. So the threads only go about halfway. Um, and then there's a metal shoulder, kind of like a collar there. So what it is, is it's going to allow uh, when the cap and the spring is on top of this plate, it's going to push or pull the plate kind of away from the steering wheel surface and underneath here there's some foil tape uh, at least on this um, painted black version um, to just aid in some um, connectivity right so uh, this part's a little bit tricky because you've got to get the bolt through this horn plate the steering wheel and this uh, black sort of um, steering hub cover uh, the post cover at the same time so just take your time do one bolt at a time okay and you also want to make sure that the black horn wire um, doesn't get tangled uh, around it's still the, it's, again the wire is going to come out at the two o'clock position it's going to go around the nut and then connect to that little connection right there All right, so these bolts, these three bolts will use a 7 16 socket. Um, you're probably going to need a socket extension um, just to make sure that your socket clears the steering wheel. Otherwise, your socket's going to scrape against the surface of the uh, steering wheel there. So um, just uh, snug these up a little bit for now, um, making sure that all three are centered and that nothing's interfering with the rest of the uh, horn plate assembly. And then after those are snugged up, just make sure that the horn plate can uh, slide on the shoulder of those bolts. Because if it can't slide, then it's not going to make contact. You also want to just double check and make sure that the, um, if, you, if you look underneath this horn plate, there's like these little uh, bumps on the formed piece of steel. They're not where these, um, these sort of little brass studs are. They're kind of just a little bit uh, in between. Make sure that they're fully able to contact the foil tape that might be on the steering wheel. Because uh, again, that's how it's going to make the connection. So something important to remember is that the big nut here on the uh, steering shaft, it's, it's, it's going to hold the steering wheel down, but it's not actually what prevents the wheel from or, or keeps it locked and allows it to turn left and right. It's actually these three bolts. So of course, make sure these are secure and the nuts secure as well. So um, I don't have the uh, specification right now in terms of how many foot pounds or whatever this should be tightened to, but check the manual, make sure it's tight. So now that those three bolts are tight, we're gonna tighten uh, this center nut down. It's a 13 16 socket that you're gonna need. Again, check the manual for what the OEM spec um, torque specification should be for that. I don't have it in front of me right this second, so uh, please look that up. Make sure that's safe and secure. All right, so that's down there. That's not going to go anywhere. Um, again, just make sure that this plate is allowed to move up and down because it's important. If you don't have that, it's not going to work. Um, and you want to make sure that the wire is uh, kind of tucked out of the way. You don't want it to get it pinched or anything like that, right? So included in your um, Grant steering wheel kit also comes this spring, okay? Um, now depending on I think the steering wheel and and you know what model you have or whatever um, You know, I think the idea is that the spring is supposed to fit over the threaded um, Part of the steering shaft so on mine it does not fit um, It doesn't fit either way uh, there's just not enough threading exposed, okay? So one thing you can do just in terms of assemblies, you can use just a piece of tape to hold it down so the, the, um, the spring stays in place. And then you can take your horn button and then you can basically put install it and it just goes in and then it turns just to lock it in place. Use a piece of tape there. Put that over the threaded part of the shaft. Again, just to hold this in place so it doesn't fall off when I'm trying to assemble this, okay? And there you go, okay? Make sure, again, make sure the wire is clear and you're good to go. Now you can just take your cap, sorry, trying to get in the camera here. 
And you can see there's like little notches on the back side and then there's notches on the horn plate. So you can just try to align them. If you're going to be pushing down on the spring at the same time. You might need to get your finger underneath just to uh, get it in place. So there it is, took a little bit of fussing to get back on. This is just uh, the plain horn button, uh, but it went on just fine. Now, some of the Grant steering wheels, they'll have like an emblem that's there. And I know some people complain about, oh, you know, it's the emblem's not on straight. Well, I mean, it's just kind of like a big stick on thing, right? So you can heat it up with a bit of a uh, hairdryer, take a flathead screwdriver, put it underneath, pry it up carefully. Um, and then rotate it into position and then press it back down. That'll, that way your emblem's centered over the horn button. But um, now that this is on, it's installed. Uh, if we connect the battery again, we should get a horn. All right, so the battery's reconnected and we can test out the horn. There you go, so it works, all right? So I hope that helps out. It was just basically that main, uh, that horn wire with the spring contact. It's not really explained very well anywhere, but I hope this video clarifies on, you know, just that little trick on how to install Grant steering wheel on your Jeep YJ. All right, thanks for tuning in.